All right, ratios, proportions, and rates. So we've got uh, three different questions to go over here, and uh, people do get uh, tripped up on this stuff uh, pretty easily, and a lot of times we're going to be looking at uh, word problems, right, and then how to kind of turn that into turn that into math. Okay, so for our first one, distance equals rate times time. We have to know this. Okay. There's lots of little formulas and equations that we need to know, but distance equals rate times time is a big one. Okay, so in this question, we say, so we'll say this is number one, uh, we go 280 miles in four hours. Okay, let me get this on here. In four hours. And then the question is, um, at this rate, how long does it take us to go 630 miles? So 630 is our question. Okay, so this is a distance equals rate times time question, right? So as we start off the distance, right, the first, what they're really asking is about the 630 miles. How long is it going to take, right? So there's our 630. Equals, okay. Um, and now they're asking, like, how long, right? So we don't know that the answer to that question, right? And so T is unknown right now. Okay, so we're just going to put a T there. Now, as far as rate is concerned, now they told us it was 280 miles in four hours, right? Put this one over here. They told us 280 miles in four hours. Okay, so that equals 70. That's a seven, they're going 70 miles an hour. Okay. So now our distance equals rate times time formula is set up, right? We have 630 equals 70 T with T being hours. Okay. And from here, divide each side by 70. All right. So we can just get T by itself. Divide each side by 70. T, 630 divided by 70. You can always do this, take a zero out of each of these. So what's 63 divided by 7? Maybe a little bit easier. 7 times 9 is 63. So it took 9 hours. Okay. So that's the first one, right? Distance equals rate times time. You can get a lot of uh, practice questions on that in our app. Um, and I recommend practicing them and then coming back to the video again if you're confused. Okay, so on the second question, we have 10 males, 15 females in the class. Okay, and so the question is going to be, uh, what is the ratio of males to females in the class? Okay, so we have 10 divided by 15, right? That's male to female. Okay, so unfortunately, your answer choice is not going to be 10 to 15, right? They're going to want you to reduce it as much as you can. So we can divide the top by 5. 10 divided by 5 will give us an integer, and 15 divided by 5 also works. Okay, and so that equals 10 divided by 5 is 2, 15 divided by 5 is 3, 2 thirds, or if they wanted a ratio, then it would be written like 2 to 3, yeah? Okay, and so that was if the ratio was males to females. Now what if they asked, let me erase a little bit here, what if they asked males to the whole class, okay? Okay, so the whole class has 25 people, right? 10 plus 15. So if they wanted, whoop, give my marker. All right, if they wanted males to the whole class, right, so that includes the males and the females, then we have 10 of 25, right? And so we'll do the same thing. Divide each side by five on the top, five on the bottom, and 10 divided by five, is 2 just like it was 30 seconds ago and 25 divided by 5 is 5 okay so two-fifths 
or two to five, right? Those would be the possible answers for a question like that, right? So that's a ratio question. Okay, just trying to give myself some room here. And we got one more, one more fun question. Okay. Okay, so on this one, back to the marker, question three. Okay, so we have two times, again, we have males and females here. Two times as many males as females. Okay, and then they tell us we got 60 people in the class. Okay, how many males do we have? Okay, so I have two times as many males. So we're just going to start off with two. When we hear that two times, we're thinking 2x. And then females are just going to be x. Right? So we have two times as many males as females. And the total is 60. Okay, and then we just add up 2x and x. 3x equals 60. And I'll divide each side by 3. 60 divided by 3 is 20. And so x equals 20. So make sure you don't all of a sudden be like, okay, we're done. Uh, 20 people, right? Because remember, we said that males was 2x and females was x. So females, we have 20. 2x, 20 times 2 is 40, and there is our answer, 40 males, 20 females, 40 plus 20 is 60, that looks good, 20 times 2 is 40, so it's twice as much, everything's lined up, we got ourselves a good answer, right, and so you could even think, okay, well what if, Instead of two times, just to kind of get used to thinking about this kind of stuff in, in math terms. So what if instead of two times, it was three times as many males as females? What if it was three times as many males as females and there were 60 in a class? Then it would be very similar, right? You just go 3x plus x equals 60, right? Very similar kind of thing. 3x plus x is 4x. 4x equals 60. Divide each side by 4. 60 divided by 4 is 15. Okay, x is 15. Okay, that's the females, right? And we said males were three times as many in this example. So 15 times 3, 45. And that's how we would solve that one, right? So then we would have 45 males, 15 females. 45 plus 15 is 60. Looks like we got a good answer. And that's all we need to know.